Is Tupac alive? That's the shocking claim from the son of ex-music mogul and convicted felon Suge Knight, who says Tupac Shakur is alive and well and living in Malaysia. Suge Jacob Knight, known as Suge J, says that the gangster rapper, who by all accounts was killed in a 1996 drive-by shooting, is now also ready to release new music. In this Daily Mail TV exclusive, reporter Stephanie Haney talks to both Suge J and his infamous father as Suge Sr. weighs in from prison on what would surely be the most astonishing comeback in hip-hop history. I'm definitely going to bring new Tupac music for you guys. That's Suge J doubling down on his recent social media post that read, I got Pac back in the studio. New music coming. This ain't a joke. Hashtag new death row coming soon. It's a claim that followed incredible Instagram posts from last October stating that Tupac is alive. When we asked Suge J if he stands by his jaw-dropping assertion, all he would say is... Trust me, Tupac is good. Tupac is good. According to Suge J's father, the idea of Tupac faking his death is not all that far-fetched. Marion Suge Knight spoke exclusively to DailyMail.com Stephanie Haney from prison where he is serving a 28-year sentence for voluntary manslaughter stemming from a 2015 hit and run. The elder Suge says Tupac, who had done time on a sexual assault conviction, would do anything to avoid being put back behind bars. Knight paid for the rapper's appeal and he was out on bond when that infamous drive-by shooting took place. He wasn't happy in prison, so he felt that he would never go back to prison no matter what. And then the other thing was that uh, his nickname was Machiavelli. He was all about Machiavelli. And as you know, Machiavelli faked his death. So he was always talking about faking his death before he won't go back to prison. Did he ever talk to you about what he would do if he did fake his own death? I wouldn't uh, share that with anybody. There's certain things you can't talk about. Music industry professionals were quick to criticize the young knight's claims, some even accusing him of being on drugs. Suge J quickly clapped back and told us. I don't want to be put in the, in the category of the conspiracy theorists, so I want the world to give me a chance. I have my own facts. The only suggested proof so far Photos shared on social media of an older looking Tupac posing with Beyonce and 50 Cent as they look today. The photos, of course, could be fake. But while Shook J says he didn't take them. I think those are cool pictures. And Tupac is good. With his new Death Row record label, Shook J is taking the baton from his father, who started the original Death Row records back in the day. So what does he say to detractors who believe the Tupac story is a stunt to promote his new company? All I can say is this, people can't fathom that I have new music on the way from him. Many of those people believe Tupac is alive in spirit only, that the new music was actually completed before he was killed, but never released. Suge Sr. still controls those tracks, some of which have been released over the years. And while there may be still some music worthy of release, a lot of it was what you call studio scrap. Not that it was bad songs, but those were songs that Pac didn't want to be out. So if Tupac really is alive, there's still no definite word on when he'll come out of hiding or when his music will be released. I'm not putting a timeline because I'm moving like a businessman. I'm a mogul millennial. Suge Sr. won't confirm whether he knows if Tupac is dead or alive, but he did say this. When it's time to do a, a real Tupac album, you get the right people that he would work with. Like Drake, uh, I would say Barty B is probably the female version of Tupac. Will they be real live collaborations or maybe a mix of today's top stars with old Tupac tape? Well, only time will tell. For now, we'll keep looking for any signs that Tupac Shakur is still with us.